So guys, 81 Spalding, just gonna show you the rest of my movies. I showed you the horror movies now. This is the other selection of movies I have. First off, we got uh, Cheech and Chong's Greatest Hits, Up and Smoke, and Still Smoking. Cheech and Chong's Nice Dreams, and Things Are Tough All Over. Cheech and Chong's next movie, California, with Eden Gilbert Grape. Boys Next Door, I recommend this one. This one's got Charlie Sheen in it. This is an old flick, like 80s kind of movie, you could say. It's a good movie. It's kind of graphic, but it's a good one. Then we got Bad Boys there, not the modern one. This is the one with um, Sean Penn and Isai Morales. This is a good movie. It's about juvenile hall, I guess you could say. That's a good one. River's Edge. It's another one of my favorites. Keanu Reeves in it when he was a young, way younger. Got The Outsiders, Havoc Unrated, Fresh, Lord of the Flies, Vin Diesel Strays, Lords of Dogtown, Raised in Arizona, 3 O'Clock High, that's a funny one, Pineapple Express, National Lampoon's Favorite Deadly Sins, you gotta check that one out, it's got a real funny scene with Andrew Dice Clay in it, then we got Old School Unrated, Men at Work with Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez, that's funny. Banged out. It's a corny movie about Bloods and Crips. The Warriors, Super Bad, Paper Soldiers, Stand By Me, Spawn, License to Drive. Then we got my Martin TV series, Season 3, 1, and 4. My Jackass movies, Wild Boys, Complete First Season. Then we got Jersey Shore, Season 1, 2, 3, and 4. I know you guys probably don't like that shit, but I think it's funny and the chicks on there are hot. Then we got Swamp People Season 1. I need to get Season 2. Then we got Black Hawk Down Deluxe Edition. That's got a lot of features. Restrepo. That's a documentary about Afghanistan. Then we got Ninth Company. It's like a foreign film. It's actually Russian with English subtitles. We got Seven Private Ryan, The Hurt Locker, The Kingdom, Baghdad ER, HBO documentary, Severe Clear, that's another documentary, and Gunner Palace is another documentary as well about the Iraq War. These three are about the Iraq War. And then we got uh, Hunt, The Hunted, Enemy at the Gates, Apocalypse Now, The Complete Dossier. Then we got Romper Stomper. It's like about skinhead. This Russell Crowe comes out in it. That's another movie from the 80s. Then we got In This World. Um, Don Cheadle with Traitor. It's like, I don't know how you can explain that movie. Kind of like a terrorist espionage kind of movie. Then we got Ernest Goes to Camp. Ernest Scared Stupid and Ernest Goes to Jail. Narc. American Me, Straw Dogs the Original, and Straw Dogs the Remake. Man, the original was boring in my opinion. I fell asleep going to that, watching that movie. Then we got Cooley High, New Jersey Drive, Colors, Juice, Straight Out of Brooklyn, Bullet, Poetic Justice, Strapped, Dead Presidents, Higher Learning, Minister Society, School Days, 187, and Stand and Deliver. Down here we got Bruce Lee collection. This one has um, Game of Death, The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon, and Game of Death 2. My favorite Bruce Lee movies are Fist of Fury and Enter the Dragon. Fist of Fury is actually pretty funny. Some funny fight scenes in there. Then of course we got Enter the Dragon. My favorite Bruce Lee movie, Special Edition. Then we got 3AM, Texas Killing Fields, Immortals, Bully, and Kids. This guy, Larry Clark, he made both of those movies. This movie, Kids, is from the 90s. I don't know, most of you may have, may have not seen that. It's a good movie. It was a shocking movie about the teens in that age and time. So it was like in 95. Then we got Belly with DMX. La Bamba. 
Goodfellas Casino or Broxdale Easy Rider. This is another good one. If you haven't seen that one, you might want to check it out. I also got Dennis Hopper. He was real young in that one. I also got Jack Nicholson as well in it. And Peter Fonda. That's a good one. Then we got Blood In, Blood Out. Amores Pedros. That movie, it's a, it's a foreign movie about dogfighting and just the way of life in Mexico. You might want to see that one with the subtitles if you don't know Spanish. Then we got The Ice Storm, Boogie Nights, New Jack City, The Book of Eli, Closure, True Lies. Ooh, Jamie Lee Curtis in that movie. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and then we got uh, The Running Man. Special edition. Then we got Total Recall. I can't believe they remade this movie, man. Probably gonna fuck it up. Oh, shit. Then we got Triage, Gang Wars 1 and 2, Street, Ar Street Anarchy, Gang Banging for Life 2, Crips. Creeper presents Cali Lifestyle 2, La Vida Loca, Gladiator Days, Banging, The Jacket, Harsh Times, Buy Squad, and Killer Season. And then down here we got Dog, The Best of Season 1, 2, and 3, Devis and Butthead, Season 1, Frozen, DJ Screw, Soldiers United for Cast, and we got Sub Zero Cold War Edition. We got Sub Zero. Ice Grills, Sub Zero World. Then we got some Smack DVDs right there. Some more Sub Zeros, Cold Chillin', Snow Bunny Edition. Then we got Beef 3, Buffy the Body, Larger Than Life. Then we got some Cocaine Cities right there, All Access DVD, Cypress Hill, Greatest Hits. Then we got Felony Fights 2, 3, and 4. You wanna see some real raw underground fights, you might wanna check those out. Then we got Ghetto Fights 2, 3, 5, and 6. Then we got Queen of the Hood 1 and 2. And I actually got like two VHSs here Halloween H2O and Island of Dr. Moreau. I need to get that Island of Dr. Moreau. I don't know if you guys know if it's on DVD or not. And that's pretty much it. I know it's talking kind of fast, but I'm running out of time on this and I don't feel like doing it over again. But those are the rest of my movies right there. That's pretty much it for now, man. See you later.